Hello everybody, uh, this is Spy again, and welcome to Spy Pie Gaming. If you are not aware, we have some merch, by the way, if you are interested at, uh, well, it's on our community page, actually, as well as I'll make sure to post it in the uh, down below um, as well for you guys. Uh, so yeah, the channel keeps growing, and we're always thankful for that here at Spy Pie. And, you know, seeing all the great um, comments and stuff that you guys leave. It's always something that we look forward to. Today, however, unrelated to the channel, but on the channel, is we're going to be doing the Way of the Voice. The Greybeards have summoned me to their monastery of High Hrothgar on the slopes of the Throat of the World. And, yeah, um, it's time to do that, as well as find the owner of the Golden Claw, who we kind of already know if you've played the game before, you know. Um, I'm going to go turn that in for some free extra gold as well, uh, because we're going to need it. We're going to definitely need it. Like, I'm really, really kind of going low on gold here. So, first things first, we are uh, packing too much. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a wait. So, now it is 11. So, now it's 11 a.m., right? And... 11 a.m. is the time that most of these shops are open, I believe. Here we are. Hey, what's up? Got some good pieces out yeah. Here. yeah, you got some real good hey, pieces out here. I'm real proud of you. All right, so first things first. We're going to make sure we just get rid of a ton of this stuff. Like, we really don't need... I'm going to keep that. I'm going to disenchant that. I'm going to... You know what? Maybe I'll use it for a little while. Um, The hunting bow... We're, we need a bow, right? Because last time we ran into an issue because I got rid of a bow. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, apparel. Uh, we don't need that. We're going to hold on to that for a second. As well as I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my shield. Uh, this guard's armor. And these fur boots that literally I don't think anyone has actually worn for longer than five minutes. Go ahead and sell my wolf pelts off. And that's not the bulk of the... We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Oh. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Okay. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here. That kind of rhymed. Any information regarding her location? We learn anything. Okay. Well, I I'll let you know if I see anyone. What are you doing here? Nope. Sorry. I appreciate the the honesty there. Be careful. So we're going to run over into here. Bellathor's General Goods is the the premier place, if anyone is not in the know here. Yeah, yeah. you know why you're the preferred place? It's because you'll take just anything. Let me go ahead. I want to get rid of these, as well as that. Like, I think... Like, I think that's good, you know, because, like, I really don't... Oh, no, let's go ahead and sell our amethyst as well as our garnets. And I think, if we look at our carry weight... Yeah, all right. So, let's go ahead and I think before we do that, let's go ahead and investigate a little bit about the Red Guard woman. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. What are you Nothing. Items, weapons, um, Axe of Whiterun. Yes. Uh, so this right here, I think, is actually going to be my main weapon for a while. I mean, I just haven't seen anything orcish uh, in a, quite a while, so. Come at me. So, I I'm already kind of aware of who it is. So, hi. Yes. Do you know about any uh, Alakir warriors that are looking for a Red Guard woman? Are you sure? Oh no, they found me. I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Okay. Quickly. Oh, we're going up to the private rooms, boys. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun times up here, right? Oh my God, you're taking forever. Hurry up. Hurry up. Right, I'm gonna walk in here. Working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me, and you're going to lose fingers. That's okay. You can come at me. I'll, I'll cut you in half. I don't think so you know how to use that dagger. 
What did they offer you? Gold? Put that down before you get hurt. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. I know you're not one of them, but you just can't help them. You can't let them know I'm here. Well, Please. I mean, I can. Will you help me? There's no one here I can trust. Perhaps, if there's money in it. There will be. Of that, you can be assured. I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alaki, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I mm. need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. All right, so how am I supposed to get rid of these They're guys? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Tamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. All right, any suggestions as to how I'll find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Well, that's okay. You can trust me. You could trust me with this battle axe. Alright, so we're going to run down here. Let's make our way uh, back up Dragon's Reach. I think, you know, we could probably sort this quest line out quick, right? Just a little bit of a side quest. How long could this take? What's the worst thing that could happen? Right? What's the worst thing that I, that could happen? Jack hates it uh, when I say that, by the way. Uh, because every time I say it, the worst things always occur. Could you spare a coin? Yes, I could. Let me guess. Just one gold? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Thank you. Thank you. I should have done that before I went and sold all my stuff, because Gift of Charity is, like... Yeah, fortify persuasion. So that that would have been that would have been nice to have, I think. But you know what? It's okay. It's all right. We're we're in the charity f for a good cause, right? It's not about the money. It's about the giving and the buff. I mean, the bu the buff is is most of what I'm here for. If I'm honest with you guys, I'm, I'm trying to power game this. I'm gonna power game this if I can. And if the okay, where is the where's the dungeon? There we go. Hi. God might get nervous. Told you to get his weapons on. Hey. hey. Hey, come here. Where are you going? I can't talk to you from that distance. Hey, you. No lollygagging. <laughs> okay. What is it? Dragons? Really? Ha! Ah, there we go. I need to find Ked... Ked... Uh, Ked... Uh, Kam Kamatu? I don't remember how she said. I need to find Kamatu. Where is he hiding? You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. Mm. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. What is it you I need? I dishonored my brothers by being captured. So they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. How much you have to pay? One gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Hmm. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Too bad there's more where that came from. I can't say I've heard of any laws against whatever that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up if I have to. Whatever. I've got my eye on you. You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm Dragonborn. Hey. Everything's all right. I want to pay for that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. What do you need? Can I get one of you guys to... Okay, what never mind. So let's talk about how we can help each other here. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Look, your fine's been paid. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. 
You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. Prove That's it. That's your problem, not mine. Guard, the fine's been paid. Now set me free. We. All right, so we're gonna go on. We're gonna make our way over there, and let's let's stab him. Let's stab him with our with our axe, and uh, we'll feel better after that. Let's let's see. Uh, journal, right? Unclick that, and then. Wait, wait, wait. In my time of need. There we go. Alright, so west of... Never eat soggy waffles. There we go. And... Yeah, alright. Not too far out. We can make our way there. And while we're making our way there, I'll sit back and I'll talk with you guys for a little bit. So, you're going to notice probably the first thing is that this is normally an hour long. Right, but I've been cutting it down. I feel like it'll be a little bit better to watch for you guys specifically at home. Uh, I prefer long videos, but I know that a lot of people prefer to kind of get more of a, a smaller video whenever they're watching, especially with Let's Plays, right? And so splitting it up, that'll make it easier for me as well uh, on the editing side to make this just all a bit uh, cleaner. and. Since I'll be able to cut it up, that'll leave more time for more content on the channel. As well as, for many of you guys who may be interested in Elder Scrolls Online, you're going to see more builds, especially towards that Nightblade healer that was on the channel uh, quite a while ago. The Nightblade healer, however, uh, I will have to rebuild it. Uh, it's going to be very. It's going to be a lot of fun coming with the new patch. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online's newest patch is coming out in about, I believe, a month or two. And if if any of you guys are interested in that, you should go and see our patch notes that we made uh, specifically about it. Uh, specifically about it. Sorry, I'm getting uh, jumbled up with my words because words are difficult. Uh, speaking of words, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know. You guys should uh, stay hydrated, and uh, for that, hold on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hydrated. Stay hydrated. Making our way out here. I don't believe it's too far out, I, and it might even be a, a random location. I doubt it, but it might be. On the way, though, I see some guys over here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a quick save, and... Let's go, let's go mess with some people. Let's see how this goes out for us. Oh, those are the guys from earlier. They're leaving, and... I mean, I could try to kill them on the road. I feel like that might not be a good decision. I, I don't even know if that guy there can be killed. Uh, essential tags are a huge thing. Alright, guys, we're, we're in this now. Did I change? Why am I killing these guys so quick? Jeez. Like, is this weapon that much of a difference? I think it was. Jeez. That was crazy. That was crazy. Um, hold on. Did, there... No, no, no. I didn't. Oh, God. Bethesda, I don't care about your stuff that you have. Don't be loading mods right now. I don't need to see any of this. Uh, Realm of Lorcon. Yeah, because quicker startups are nice. Oh my. The, the Okay. Settings. Gameplay. Okay, it's been changed. No, no, no. Okay. There we go. Playing on Master. <laughs> well, you know what? These guys are dead and I have a bounty, but it's okay. Well, if they have a bounty, if I have a bounty, I gotta, I gotta recoup my losses, right? So let's go rifling through the dead. Um, uh, yeah, I'll take that. And well, you don't even have any arrows. Oh, maybe I took your arrows. Yeah, let's let's rifle through the dead here. Um, yeah, I'll take your imperial sword. Let's see, I'll take that again, and your bow and your sword. There we go. Yeah, I mean, like, if we're going to get a bounty, right, we might as well be paid for it. Speaking of a payday, that that looks like a payday right there. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm going to drop a quick save, because qu quick saves coming is a real way of playing, and you can't tell me it's not. Um, you know, sometimes, 
sometimes Bethesda games have problems, uh, go and watch the original, the first video for this if you want to see some, some real bad glitches and bugs going off. Okay, pull back. There we go. And... Right? Alright. Come on. Come on. He's just gonna block the whole time, I guess. Come on. Come on, you bandit. I don't back down. I don't back down. We will not back down. We're gonna drink a bunch of potions. Come on. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, this isn't good. Wait. Yay. No. Wait. No. I I was mid-swing whenever I drank the potion. That's a waste of it. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's all right. We have healing spells. We're going to crouch down over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't unfavor that. We're going to grab our axe out. Come on. We're trying to get this guy out. There we go. All right. Now we got to go up there. How do we get up there? There we go. I'm looking the wrong way. Hey, hey you you don't shoot me. You you hold up. You wait till I get up there before you keep doing that. It's not okay to hit me from a distance. Where where's the other guy? There he is. Whew. Dodge that. What you going to do? What you going to do, punk? Oh shit. That was close. No. No. Perfect time to attack. Come on. Push the advantage. Push the advantage. Alright. Alright. Uh, healing. Flames in the other hands. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Bad boys, bad boys. I've been watching that, by the way. A lot of cops. A whole lot of cops. Uh, well, I don't really have any more. So this is going to really suck for you. But you get battle axed. There you go. Right in the back. Got him right in the back. Oh. Okay. Okay. I thought the game... Uh, broke there for a minute. Uh, no, we just had lag. You know, it happens. Uh, not all of our computers are, are stable. Um, and that's that's just how we're going to have to live some of these days. All right. Uh, I, okay, I'm going to pick up your helmet because it's kind of worth a little bit. The weight of that does not outweigh it. So we're going to grab that. And I'll just take your boots as well. Uh, you... I want your, yes, and the bows are always a great one. Make sure we pick up all the arrows, because we're going to need them. We're going to absolutely need them, because once we get into the later levels, I think we're going to have a much easier time with bow. Um, that's mostly just because the game itself is ridiculously balanced for bows, more so than it is for, well, really anything else, right? Um, this is Greymore. Hey, guys, guys, going into Greymore. We were talking about ESO just a moment ago. This is, is going to be great. It's all coming together full circle. So, that happened. It's all coming together, guys. Don't have to worry about it. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I think... Right? I think I just let everyone know of my location. So let's... We're gonna go fighting. Oh my. Oh my. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Oh. Keep my man up. Keep my man up. Keep my man up. Okay. Alright. Hey, we actually have something that could, so could solve that problem. Foose at him. Foose at him real hard. And then we can swing and die. Swing and die. 
is what I meant to say. Um, Okay, so what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to leave, um, we're going to leave the area, okay? Uh, during this loading screen, I'll explain. Uh, this is a strategy called um, a tactical retreat, and at some points, you know, that's that's the best thing to do. Uh, it can save your life um, and make things easier. So we're just going to run it and do the quest we were actually hired to do, and not get completely distracted. It's funny. Uh, to me because I, I literally got told before starting this to not get distracted and we've the entire time been a little bit distracted. It's okay, Jack's trying to make sure that I'm on the ball here and, uh, you know, it's working. And this is why you need, uh, especially this is why I need uh, a second person on the channel, especially uh, because I'm I'm easily distracted by games with open worlds. I I enjoy going out into the world. And as much as I give Skyrim a bunch of hell, uh, because its world it does seem kind of painted on a bit, and not so... It doesn't feel as en engaging as it was for Morrowind. I, I definitely think that it's... it's well, I mean, it's a nice-looking game. It looks great. You can't deny that Skyrim looks great. Uh... This game's from 2011. You know, this isn't even a modded version, which is just spectacular if you ask me that, that a game can look like this in 2011 uh, with just a few modern enhancements on the special edition. But the 2015 version, which is this one, is, a, is definitely superior, I think. Uh, one being that... Ooh. One being that uh, I'm bad at the game, and that that kind of puts a hamper on things. So, I, to be honest, I'm not normally a warrior, so that might be part of it. But I'm I'm gonna say it is, so that you guys don't have to, uh, you know, in the comments, you know, be too mean to me. It's absolutely uh, a stunning looking game, and the you know the enemies look great when they're mauling your face off. That's the importance of Skyrim. Uh, I think it technologically might be a, a little bit of a step behind but i mean come on look at the game look at it it looks fun you can just run off anywhere and that is absolutely magical but now now that i know he's there i know not to get murdered by him so let's let's go ahead i think this is going to be fun right we're going to we're going to zap him i think we're going to zap him Zapping is a great way of, of doing things because you can stay pretty far back whenever you zap. Okay. All right. Where is he? Was he up this way? Where exactly was he? Oh, he was over here. All right. Running through all, like, you know, and even the foliage. Like, I understand that the foliage is two-dimensional. That's fine. It's fine. It looks good. You know, Morrowind's foliage was two-dimensional, and and it looked great. I think it still looks great, even though, you know, the it may make your eyes bleed a little bit. I think it did keep, a, it kept the sense of a world, because it didn't have all the technology to build a world as much. That right there is, is kind of a, a bit of a different thing to think about. Uh, a game that is limited, though, typically, it has to do more. Next time on Spy Pie Gaming TV. Yeah, run. Wolves, save me. All right. Are we underpowered or are they overpowered? We're going to determine. Use the geometry. Use it. 